And investigators say that the original call that the first responders were on I-85 for was a semi truck that was on fire. They are wrapping up that call when another semi truck ran into those fire trucks. Investigators say this is another case of someone not following the move over law. Looking at this damage, it's amazing no firefighters were hurt. I-85 southbound was closed for hours over the Yadkin River as heavy equipment was brought in to remove what was left of a tractor trailer that burst into flames from the impact. <laughs> Highway Patrol tells Fox 46 just before 5 a.m. Nolito Ortiz of Greensboro was traveling southbound when he was going too fast and didn't change lanes. He crashed into a fire engine from the Miller's Ferry Fire Department pushing it into two other fire trucks, damaging all three. At the Miller's Ferry Fire Department, Fire Chief Joshua Fox surveyed the damage to his equipment. None of his firefighters were hurt, but they are being credited with saving the truck driver's life. Very grateful for everything and everyone, um, and we're praying for the family of the truck driver. Rescue crews say the driver was on fire and suffered severe burns. The three damaged fire trucks were parked in a defensive position on the interstate, which is what the fire chief credits for keeping everyone safe from this avoidable crash. Slow down, you know, stay off your phones, you know, yield to responders, let us do our job safely. That's all we're asking. At last check, that truck driver is still at Baptist Hospital in Greensboro getting treatment for his injuries, and he could receive charges. That's what troopers told us today once he is discharged from the hospital. Now, coming up tonight, all new at 6 o'clock, this is a very small fire department, and now three of their fire engines are out of commission, so we'll show you how they are still responding to calls. For now, reporting live along I-85 in Rowan County, Brett Baldeck, Fox 46, getting results.